Our next story takes us out of the arena to an unlikely fisherman's hotspot. We head over to the concrete line Los Angeles River. It's not known for its thriving wildlife or clean water, but you just might think differently once you see what we found. People have always been, you know, drawn to, drawn to rivers. You know, I see this as a river, and it is. You know, I'm part Native American, I'm Pima. They're called river people. You know, so it's like, of course I'm gonna be on the river. Of course I'm gonna be drawn to the river. Carmelo Gaeta grew up along the Los Angeles River in Atwater Village. As a kid, he caught frogs and skipped rocks there. But it was only recently that he discovered the fish. But I started fishing a few years ago and, you know, there was sort of like this secret sort of cult of dudes, you know, fishing on the river. You know, it was kind of like, it's a novelty thing. It was like a joke. Like, whoa, check this out. And I'll tell friends and they were like, they would laugh. Why would I not fish in the LA River? You know, if there's fish in there, like, of course I'm going to. Uh, there's a fish tailing right there. See it in the middle of the river? Good cast. No good. Gone. Eventually, word of the fishermen made its way to Friends of the Los Angeles River, an organization dedicated to revitalizing the river. We started to really see more people fishing, which was like, wow, I never really even thought about going down to the river and fishing. If there wasn't for anglers out on the river showing people like, hey, look, there's actually something in here, most people would never think it. So Friends of the Los Angeles River, or FOLAR as friends call it, decided to do a fish study. How do these things get here? What, what's going on and, and how are they surviving here? And this is a whole cycle of life that's happening down here that's hidden. When you tell people that you fish the LA River, the first response is like, are there three eyes on the fish? Do they glow? And when like, people see like someone in the water, they're gonna be like, eh, like he's got cooties or something. Most of the water does come from sewage treatment plants, though they are held to strict standards of cleanliness, and chemical pollutants enter the stream too, with everything from motor oil to insecticides flowing in as urban runoff. From the little bit of testing we've done, it's not nearly as bad as people think it is. Sabrina Drill studies urban fisheries with the University of California. She and fellow biologist Cam Swift were enlisted by Folar to sample fish in the L.A. River. Well, Folar was interested in pursuing, you know, getting back to a more natural river, so they really wanted to know what fish were there. We seine for fish by uh, using that net, basically a net with, you know, floats on the top. You kind of pull that through the water, and when you get to an area where you think there might be fish hiding um, under vegetation and undercut banks, you kind of kick in there, you either use the pole to get in there, or you use your foot, or sometimes you use your hand even to kind of dig in there and scare the fish out, and as they come out, they're trapped in the net, and then you kind of pull the net up. Oh, whoa, we got some, oh, bigger, bigger, who? Got a couple of tilapia, huh? Uh, that's a carp. a um, bull, these are. Oh, hey. Did he stick you? Bit me. No, it's luckily a, it's a bullhead catfish, and here's a baby bullhead catfish. We had fish from Africa, South America, Eastern North America, and Asia, all on the LA River. All of the fish caught during the study were non-native species that have been artificially introduced to the river. As a conservation biologist, finding those fish in a more natural setting where there are or could be native fish would concern me. Finding them in the LA River was actually like, oh, this is nice, it's high enough quality to support some kind of fish. I would have been a little bit surprised if we'd even found some of the native species because the habitat's so altered. Starting in the late 1930s, the river was lined with concrete to control the flooding that was a frequent occurrence along its sandy banks. Naturally, that would have been a really broad sort of alluvial system which which in the summer might have had very low flows and very sandy kind of banks and of course it would have been all natural habitat meandering through sand you know riparian forests of willows and cottonwoods and sycamores and stuff like that rather than these all this concrete and boulders 
It was home to at least seven species of native fish, including steelhead trout. According to museum records, there were two species of lamprey, which are a long, slender, kind of worm-like fish. And there were two minnows, uh, one species of sucker, the Santa Ana sucker, and then uh, stickleback, three spine stickleback. Well, I don't like to see native species disappear. I, I mean, basically, we, a lot of non-natives are, are here to stay because there's no reasonable way to get rid of them all. Still, by the same token, I think it's worth trying to limit them or manage them in some areas where you want to maintain populations of some of the native fish. But even if the steelheads never return to the river, the fishermen will stick around. As a native person myself, we've had to embrace the idea that there's some non-natives around and you have to embrace it. Sure, I would love for there to be steelhead right here, you know, but, you know, and as an angler, that would be awesome. But, you know, that's just not the reality. And what's happening now is like, there's vegetation growing and there's fish in the water. Right now, people are using the carp and the tilapia and going out and, and having an experience that kind of reconnects them to nature. Yeah, there's a, there's a benefit to having some fishable species in the river, whether they're native species or not. For, for so, a lot of people, for the first time, they're seeing the river as a river. You know, they're seeing that like, wow, you know, there are these huge trees, wow. all these birds, oh, and now, you know, they see fish in the river. And it slowly changes people's perception that indeed Los Angeles does have a river. You know, there is, you know, there's something more to this, you know, concretized channel. Things do live and, and thrive down here. If you remove the concrete, you know, nature will take over. <laughs>